Hello and welcome to another update video about silver. Yeah, on the silver chart, um, we have broken micro support, which means that the market still hasn't given us any convincing signals that a low has been made here on the 5th of October, 4th of October. No, actually, actually the 2nd of October. Because um, we've been exploring a potential impulse to the upside. And I still haven't got five waves. Okay, so it's not giving me a reliable five wave structure to the upside. So there are still the two, well, there are still two possibilities. One is that this is just simply this ABC structure in wave four, and we're now coming down to new lows, possibly to $20.47 or $19.15. And then we have a chance to turn around here or here again and give it another go. So that's part of this orange wave count in which we could now be coming down in this wave five, okay? Um, certainly has grown in probability because we haven't got five clear waves up. So yeah, you will remember that we said, okay, possibly we bottomed, but we need those five waves to confirm that. And really we only get a reliable signal that the lasting low is in place if we get those five waves up. So what are the possibilities? So again, you know, the, the orange count has increased in probability um, because this is only a three wave move up now. The thing is though, the move down looks very corrective. So I'm exploring other options as well. The problem is that it is not high probability anymore that we've bottomed. And again, you know, it's, it's never really been. So we needed five waves up to make it high probability. Then a three wave pullback would have given us the first reliable trade setup. We only had three waves up. So again, as long as you, have, you haven't you have got five, things are still very much in the making, okay? And it's all about waiting and seeing what the market does to give us a clue and then acting on it in the next setup. But the, the fact that it now broke below micro support here for the wave four means, yeah, it, this cannot be a wave four, this cannot be a five. Yeah, unreliable and also would cut into the wave one, doesn't work. So what are the options then? Obviously, I gave you that short-term bearish scenario, which could still be part of an overall bullish scenario. We might just be resetting um, this um, move to the downside. We might be resetting this wave too. As long as we are holding the yellow support area, which goes down to $19.15, an overall bullish scenario with a third wave rally that could take us to $30 plus is still a reasonable scenario. The overall move down here is very much um, still looking very, very corrective. So I'm watching um, if this here is an ending diagonal in wave C. Okay, so we had a B wave top in July and then a wave one down, a wave two up, a wave three down, a wave four up and a wave five down. Again, not clearly bearish, okay, so not impulsive to the downside. So it, it leaves it leaves possibilities open for higher prices still. But because we haven't seen five waves up, I don't really have a strong leaning towards any of that. The problem is because we broke below micro support, I have to focus on the downside now until I see a first impulse up. But I cannot rule out that we've bottomed already. Um, it can't be a wave four, so what else could it be? So in the bullish count, I would have to assume that we had five waves up, but the last move up here is a truncation. So basically a truncated five wave move. What is that? A truncation means that in the fifth wave, the market has not been able to push above the third. This, however, is only valid in exceptional circumstances and requires additional evidence. So I don't just believe that. So it means that if this move up here was a wave one, then the move down now would be a wave two. Let's take a note, we'll change the color in a minute. So the move down would be a wave two and we have a little bit more space to the downside, okay? But it's nothing I believe until I see a first impulse that would break above the wave one high above $23.60. I have to take that perspective now that needs to prove it to me because we haven't got five clear waves. A truncation requires additional evidence because if the wave five didn't get above the third, hmm, it's difficult, okay? That's the only way how I can count five waves up. So I'm primarily focusing on lower until I see a first impulse. 
and wave two support wave two support um in case you want to trade it goes all the way down to 21 dollars and 25. so that means we could have here um a pullback in the wave two i definitely leave that option open yeah but i would now want to see a first one two setup in wave three to to basically confirm that and really believe it yeah, that's my update about silver. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. If you're interested in daily updates about S&P 500 and stocks, then check out our S&P 500 and stock service. So there are daily video updates about the S&P. We also cover the NASDAQ from time to time. It's not officially included actually, but we still cover it from time to time. And yeah, 20 stocks are included and additional extras depending on the tier that you are selecting. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.